Man, God damn, you got to be bullshit, dog. You got to be bullshit, dog. Oh, shit, dog. Dog, God damn. Nigga, I'm sitting here trying to watch this Wendy Williams shit, right? But, you know, I got ADD, my mind all over the motherfucking place. So instead of on the phone, I'm on, I'm, I'm on the TV. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm scrolling. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God damn, dog. I never had a laugh like this in a long time, man. Thanks to Gangsta Williams, bro. Nigga. Now, you know. So let me tell you how to begin it. So I'm sitting on there. I seen it on my phone. I seen him say something about TT not he's stealing. So I'm thinking gangsters just trolling this nigga, right? You know, they be into it back and forth or whatever, kind of trolling. So, you know, I ain't thinking much of it. So I go to the t a TV. I'm trying to find this motherfucking Wendy Williams shit, right? Man, I see it again. Some tell me to push on it, man. Oh, my. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Dog. Oh, man. Can y'all see that shit, man? Listen, bro. Ah, oh, nigga, listen, nigga, 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 nigga. First of all, this nigga loud mouthed it. He retarded, right? Dog, this nigga, I can't use that word. He off, my nigga. No, he retarded. That's a retarded nigga. Ain't nothing wrong. This nigga is fucked up, my nigga. Dog, listen, first of all, I be asking myself, I be like, man, you know, I, the mind of a nigga, man. I just be thinking, like, damn, the mind of some people. Like, this guy talk all this shit, dog. I mean, he just, like, you could tell he on some type of medication. Now, this the same guy they said that dug up a body, my nigga, to rob it. Now, listen, who would believe that? Like, you'll be like, man, like, who in the fuck gonna dig a dead motherfucker up, right? A grave robber, dog. Dog. Oh, my God, man. This shit, this nigga had me rolling, my nigga. I ain't had a laugh like this in so long. So, I'm thinking he bullshit. Then they show this nigga with that same ass jacket on going to motherfucking stove, dog. Now, back to the grave robber shit. The nigga was robbing graves. They said the nigga had AIDS. So now they trying to say that the test he took was a lie. He faked that shit to say it was, you know, they, you know, you can you can put any kind of fake shit up now, you know. And this nigga dog, let me tell you how retarded motherfuckers is. Now, for the life of me, the nigga is a whole character, right? He always loud. He always the toughest nigga, dog. And like I say, the reason I'm on him, bro, because I don't like want to be tough niggas. I just don't like no bullies and I don't like no shit talking, want to be tough, motherfucker, it rubs me the wrong way, and, and that's this guy, right, like, you know, he got his times, though, you know, he got his times where you can see, like, okay, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty straight dude, but then he just go off the deep end, man, nigga, when I tell you, dog, I ain't laughed this motherfucker hard and so goddamn long, I look, how bad can you look, man, how bad, listen, man, just give it up, bro, like, like, man, like, some people just meant to not be shit, my nigga. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Some people just ain't got it, my nigga. A lot of people, they got it, but don't got it. Like, the nigga is talented. So, people, uh, some people listen to him, you know what I'm saying? But, man, listen, dog, people listen to him because he talk ignorant shit. He loud. He always talking about what he going to do or don't do shit. So, man, it's crazy. So, the niggas he work for, this Pop Austin shit. Now, listen, this is the thing about niggas, though. They I, they pick this nigga out of all people to be the dude, the main dude to do their shit. Now, it's two niggas just sat back and got another nigga to build their shit up. They fired this nigga. They said, look, nigga, you, you, you know, you on some bullshit. Uh, whatever he done, they fired him. This nigga pulled the kick, though. This nigga did a domestic violence like a bitch begging. A nigga begging to get in the bitch house. He out there bamming on the door. Let me in. Ah, uh, this and this and this. I'm threatening the niggas and all this shit for a couple of dollars, my nigga. I think they owed him like $20, $30 or some shit. This nigga out there. And so they fired him. They had the police come get this nigga. Now nah, they threw with him. Now nah, listen, you know how much begging this nigga had to do to get his job back? This nigga threatened these niggas live. Bitch, I kill y'all whole ass niggas, this, this, this. And he ended up getting his job back. So you already know. They was like, they, oh my God. They said that nigga was working for $100 a week, and I believe it. I believe it, dog. 
These niggas ain't got nothing but like 30,000 motherfucking followers. It ain't like they got 100, 2, 3, 400. It ain't like they over there like no jumper, no shit. Like, how much money can you be making? Like, I don't know where they got 20, 30. I'm not knocking their channel. Shit, I don't got, before. I ain't got 5,000 yet. But I'm just saying, though, how much money can, so this nigga, so my thing is this, all I'm saying, all the bullshit aside is like, nigga, you the main nigga now. That's what I be saying. To, it's it's like people have slave type minds, right? Like if you, if you, if everybody chime in in to see you, dog, YouTube is free. It don't cost you shit. You can get in there have a government phone and have YouTube on that shit, right? And, and, and start recording. Just get your YouTube channel and sit down somewhere and talk the shit you talking. But do it to yourself, for yourself. No. He rather work for these niggas. I, I didn't understand that. I just didn't understand it. So he mad at gangster. That's so fucking funny. Nigga, your own sister said these things about you. They said the gay shit about him. They said the nigga got AIDS. They said the nigga a thief, a bum. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got shit, ain't gonna have shit. <clears throat> you know, you supposed to be a rapper. <clears throat> How in the fuck? Listen, man. And I ain't, look, don't, for one minute, think I'm just downing another black man, my nigga. I'm not downing just any nigga. This is a shit talking nigga, man. Some of these niggas need to be talked about. See, this ain't just, I'm not knocking nobody. Whatever you do to do, everybody you know, go through ups and downs, but when you a fuck nigga, my dog, when you out here always talking some violent shit and on this and on that, like them niggas off uh uh no jumper, <clears throat> they always swearing. Anytime a nigga swear to God that much, they lying. Anytime on this, on this, on my kids, on God, on them niggas, you know they lying because they gotta tell you they swear to hide the lie to make it seem, you know what I'm saying? Look, my nigga, flat the fuck out. The nigga, they say the nigga a gay, the nigga had AIDS. His own sister went against him. Like, he a fuck nigga. He steal. He set niggas up. He robbed niggas. He ain't got shit. He working for these niggas for like $100 a week. And, I, and I'm looking at this shit, and I'm like, that's embarrassing in a motherfucker, dog. So you literally doing bum shit out here. You Instead of getting your own shit, dog. which I don't understand. Why don't you get your own channel? You don't even own your own channel when it's free. These niggas ain't got shit but 30, 40,000 followers and you got them all in. So you can't get a goddamn phone and that's what I'm saying. Hey, everybody ain't meant to be bosses, my nigga. Number one, number two, bro. This shit you just, now it was already bad, bro. When they was talking about how you was digging up graves and shit. That, always, that already made you look really like a fucking bum. Your sister already said, nigga, how you working for these niggas for $100 a week. You, you ain't got a car, but, but then you talking about signing another nigga to a label. You talking about signing a rap artist, and you don't got shit. You know what I'm saying? You actually told this nigga fucking contract up because he said some minor shit. You actually got up and embarrassed this nigga like he was goddamn baby or Sean Carter, Sean Combs or somebody, and got up and was like, no, fuck you, I'm tearing this contract up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, this is hilarious, bro. This shit I'm about to tell y'all, this shit right here, bro. I mean, but people gonna fuck with you, bro. It's just, this is mind-blowing, man. This nigga gets caught. You got a drug problem. This nigga got a mental problem and a drug problem, just like Wendy Williams, my dog. You do. This nigga got caught stealing liquor out the store. I mean, dog, this nigga, you know them little dollar shots? This nigga took a dollar shot, put it in his pocket, and stole it. I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay, well, maybe this a thief. You know, first thing you think, like, you know, I know niggas with pockets full of money that just steal. They just, they just are taking cuz. I believe me. I know a lot of niggas like that. So you could take it as that. No. These niggas was in the store with no money. It was more niggas with them. They, they didn't buy shit. Usually a nigga whoop a nod out, pay for something, see something, just take it because they thieves. I seen them type of niggas. Like I say, but no. These niggas walked in there, no money, stole the shots from behind the thing. Then they go, dog, on the way out. So they stole a couple bottles of the shit. Y'all got to look this shit up. Cheap ass liquor, too. Man, this nigga went out the store. And just stole like a, a pint of like some five o'clock vodka. Like they stole like some shit works to Amsterdam. The bottle damn near looked at plastic when he grabbed it. Like the next dog. 
God damn, man, my nigga. But these, this nigga right here talk all that tough shit, that gang shit, that I bust your head, that get money shit. And this nigga still at 5 o'clock out the liquor store, my nigga. This nigga still a liquor out the liquor store. Embarrass yourself. So these people must have caught you and looked back on it and was like, man, look at this. Let me see. I want to pull this shit up. This nigga here, man, is unbelievable, my nigga. He need like he can't say shit about nobody no more. This loud mouth motherfucker, man. That's all I gotta say, man. I ain't got nothing else to say about the nigga, man. But I'm telling you, kids, you gotta watch who you look out to. Like I say, this on on God, on Tuka, on on, on set. What them niggas be saying? Uh, uh, what these niggas be? These niggas always talking about on something, nigga. Man.